up, y'all? My name is Joan. Coming back at y'all with another video. And today, I'm going to show y'all how to rock some really dope two-strand twists for a protective style. This style allows you to look like a schmack for the ladies and helps you retain length for longer hair growth. Now, before we get started, let me just talk to y'all real quick. I got to admit, bruh, this was the toughest video I ever had to record. Like, I literally had to record this entire video two times back to back mainly because of a huge mistake i made which i'm gonna let y'all know about so y'all don't gotta go through the same struggles i did you're welcome with that being said i'm gonna need y'all to leave a like right now on this video all i'm asking for is that you take two seconds to hit the like button bro like i know it's not hard but anyways man let's go ahead and get started with this video let's get it all right so in the beginning of every routine we already know our hair is say with me crusty dusty and smelling a little musty so wash your funky hair all right oh i know the wash days is something else boy i understand but we just gotta get through it so be strong my brother and fight the good fight i already washed condition and deep condition my hair but you family though so you already know i got you off all deal i got a full wash day routine video that explains step by step on how i go throughout my entire process you're gonna definitely want to go watch that video if you haven't already but after this one though i'm enjoying your company right now bro like we vibing right now now, don't mess that up i'm gonna do a blowout for these twists just to stretch out my hair and get as much length as possible because we all know that long hair is where it's at bruh it's the way for my blowout process i start with using the shea moisture miracle free leave-in treatment this is a very versatile and lightweight leave-in that can do a bunch of stuff but the main reason i'm using this is because it can be used as a heat protecting and just to give my hair some moisture now for my actual heat protecting i'm going to use the cheese silk infusion again you only need to use a little bit this is a super thick serum and when you're doing a blowout, you don't want your hair to be weighed down. This was actually my first time using this. I've seen a lot of people recommend this product. So you know me, I had to give it a shot. And I must say, it definitely earned a spot on the roster. To be real with y'all, I got nothing but shooters on my team, okay? We don't miss. And I'm going to be using this as my go-to heat protectant from now on. Once I finish applying the two products throughout my hair, I comb out my hair using a wide tooth comb. To do a blowout, I put a wide tooth comb attachment on my blow dryer and blow dry my hair. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all, okay? If y'all haven't noticed already, I'm a little punk when it comes to heat damage. Even though I essentially got two heat protectants in my hair and the Dyson blow dryer, which has technology specifically designed to prevent heat damage, which is also why... <clears throat> it costs so much i still start with the cool setting and not only that we not done the highest setting i go up to is the low heat setting bro look call me scary if you want to i don't care like i've seen too many videos of females transitioning from heat damage oh so y'all think horror movies are scary nah watch some of those videos and you will be scarred for life but honestly i don't really need my hair to be super straight for this hairstyle so i mean we good once i'm finished with the section of hair i lightly twist the section back up and continue the rest of the process throughout my hair now i admit okay heat damage scares the mess out of me but i know what scares a lot of you guys parting yes sir i'll be reading the comments i know for a lot of you guys parting is something that y'all just don't want to mess with and as men we never needed to learn how to part our hair oh but in 2020 we not relying on females to do our hair anymore like that's dead but i'm not gonna cap parting for the first time can be a little intimidating but the only way to get over it is to be like nike bro and just do it so i'm gonna start by splitting my hair right down the middle with a rat tail comb making sure the line is as straight as possible next i'm gonna pin one half away and start on the other i'm gonna split the section of hair in two straight down the middle giving it a bit of a curve to it just to give that rainbow effect we're gonna start on the bottom row so pin the top row away now with the bottom row i'm gonna split this into four twists i use the shining jam extra hole conditioning gel to define my part then i use the pintail comb to make the line as straight as possible i then coat around the part using the gel and comb it in Next, I use the Cream of Nature Edge Control, the black version. This edge control gives extra hold, shine, and deposits color, giving your roots that jet black look. Next, I'm gonna do the rubber band method. I wrap a rubber band around my hair about five times. Now, the most important part of this is to split your hair in two and pull them apart. This method just looks clean, bruh, and it prevents your roots from puffing up. Next, I use the Camille Rose Twisting Butter. I'm using this to soften and moisturize my hair. Next, I use a little bit of the Eco Styling Gel. Today, I'm doing two strand twists, but I'm doing it a bit different, so listen closely. Throughout this entire process, I continue to add gel again just to make sure my twists are as sleek as possible. Now, when actually twisting your hair, you're basically finger coiling the hair in the opposite direction that you're twisting it. I know that's 
sounds confusing, just watch what I'm doing. So I'm finger coiling my strands of hair counterclockwise and I'm a twist over clockwise. I'm doing this just to make sure my twist stay twist and it doesn't puff up and look bulky. It's kind of hard to explain what I'm doing, but I left this in normal speed for those of you who didn't understand. I like using gels because it gives you the sleekness and slip you need when twisting your hair. Now this is a water-based dollar, so if you use a lot of it, your hair will start to revert. Hey, I warned you, bro, like I don't want to hear nothing, but you really don't need a lot. When I finish the twist, I add more gel where I stop and finger coral the ends. And that's it. Our first twist is finished and looking good. I just continue the same process until I finish the first row. Now the top row is a little bigger, so I'm gonna split this up into five sections. I'm doing a brick laid pattern. It's basically like building a brick layered house. Bro, I know you watched Buy the Builder before, bro. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Basically, the twists aren't directly on top of each other. Each row is offset, and I'm not talking about the rapper. Migos! This gives a fuller look to your style, but it does take a little bit more effort. Now, the steps are the exact same. I just offset the boxes from the bottom row. With this look, the two most important things is having straight, even parts and having slick roots. The first time I did this, my parts were pretty good, but my roots weren't slicked down, and it just threw off the whole look. It was because of the products I was using before. It was crazy bro like when i first applied the products my roots would be slicked down but when it dried it puffed up and i really started to notice this right when i was almost finished with my hair like i literally had one more section to do but because of all of that i had to start over but the products i use in this video work amazing together so y'all be straight trust me this is how it looks when i finish the first half i just repeat the exact same steps to the other side and in the end, I am left with this amazing juicy twist that can last a very long time. <laughs> this is just a masterpiece, bruh. Oh, and best believe your boy is feeling himself like, hey, what can I say? Like, what can I say? In these streets, they call me Mr. Steal Your Girl for a reason, my boy. Also, hold up. Do you see that haircut? Ladies, ladies, chill. Nah, but for real though, your boy is getting nice with the clippers. Updated haircut tutorial coming soon. Be on the lookout. But I really like box twists over box braids because they just move around so freely. As some of y'all know, braids could be a little stiff, you know what I'm saying? So overall, I just prefer this style. Also remember, this is a protective style. So it'll help you retain length for longer hair growth. So basically, you will be looking good and growing out your hair at the same time. It's a win-win situation, bruh. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace!